Welcome to Grow Overload. I'm Anthony, and it looks like we're getting some changes to the uh, 12 VHPWR connector for that's been used in the NVIDIA graphics card this generation. The one that has been causing some melting and going on in the 4090s. Uh, a lot of it, I've been watching a lot of Northridge fix and him going through and fixing a lot of these connectors. It's kind of interesting that as long as you replace the connector, it seems to work and you can get your car back up and running. So at least it's not frying the whole entire board. But these meltings have still kind of happened. It's been out of the news cycle for the big part. But now we have some more inf information from PCS SIG and everything coming out. Because um, Iger's lab was able to grab some of that information and then did a nice little write-up on this. Which is now it's going to be called the 12... V-2 by 6 connector, which, uh, great, we're going to have another great name for this, but at least it is getting an update, they have made some modifications, and um, I kind of alluded to this in my last videos, is that it's, I don't think it's just going to stay this, uh, this same old connector, I, I felt like there was going to be some adjustments, you can't just rely on, hey, you got to have it plugged in all the way, all this other stuff, even though if you watch some of the Northridge fixes, uh, videos, which I highly encourage you to do. I don't think it's all of, hey, it's not plugged in all the way. I think that there was another problem there. And I think Igor alluded to that in the last um, time around when he was doing some investigating. And this just felt to me like they needed to fix this. They needed to do some updates. And I don't know if this is going to be the last update for it, right? You're putting 600 watts across these pins and now they have updated data the spec, excuse me, updated the spec to 675 watts total, where you can pull 75 watts off the uh, PCI slot. So there's been some changes here, and there's been some adjustments, and hopefully this will be the connector that resolves those problems. But we shall see. We should see going forward as these connectors get out and as these connectors get tested. And we're probably going to have a need another 4090 size power draw to really be able to verify this and to see if those have all cleared up. Now, one other thing I was listening to Jay's Two Cents, and this is kind of interesting. Can like Northridge Fix get that this new connector, or even the companies, and say, let's say you wanted to upgrade your connector? for a fee or whatever else, can you do that with these companies or with Northridge Fix? That would be something interesting. But, you know, PCI SIG has updated connector, and here, let's switch over here to um, Igor's Labs, if that pops up. You can see that they, the new connector is, um, this is what it looks like, and it has an H plus on there, or no, it's H plus plus, right? That's the new one with this H plus plus, my bad. Um, and so just, uh, just keep in mind that that's the difference and that's what you're going to be able to see. It still has the four cents pens, still 12 pens, still, uh, backwards compatible, I believe. And so they were, they were keeping compatibility, which I like to see, um, especially in type of these connectors. You'd hate to have a whole different connector, but since it's compatible, this should be pretty good. And he notes um, here that it's 55 amps of continuous power draw. I believe it can, if I remember correctly, it has to be, uh, it can only get 30 degrees above ambient, degrees Celsius above ambient. And so that's in there. The sense pins are more of a, have a more safety mechanism to them. You thought they would have that anyways because they were sense pins, I guess not. And we are making progress where the connector has to have a retention force of 45 newtons when pulled axial. So you have to have a good amount of force now and the pins have to be designed in such a way and the wires that it's going to um, have that force so it doesn't just wiggle out or slide out or have some sag that pulls on it a, a different way. So um, one other thing is that it's going to be all the same wire. So they actually went through and they said uh, 16 gauge here wire and pins and this must just be that they're just trying to standardize everything um, and and make sure it's there because even NVIDIA's connectors, depending upon where the supplier was, was different gauge of wires. I believe there was also 18 gauge there as well. So this is just uh, 
kind of going through and getting getting things adjusted here and get, getting things more tuned in and hopefully we're going to clear up these problems because one thing I don't like to see is you know all these meltings and people without their graphics card right you're spending especially on the 4090 you're spending sixteen hundred dollars roughly and your card is going to melt I mean that's something that should be really kind of ironed out in fact you know I get that there's all these warranty things to take them back and to fix them and everything else Northridge Fix has been doing um, some fixing too if you send this card into him it's just um, you're seeing now with some of the reporting that hey it was just you know user error obviously it was not just user error this points to it um, it you know you wouldn't have gone out and done all this if you thought that in PCI SIG because it's what six seven months um, for this just because you thought it was user error um, there's been other connectors out you know ones with yellow and everything else but you look at Northridge fixes some of his videos and what he it is they're plugged in they are doing they, they've done a lot of stuff so it, it is it is something to keep in mind here that you know I don't think it was just <laughs> Just going there so one other thing here is that they're doing adjustments for the contact um, um, points on these pins so let's jump back over here to Igor's labs and this is something that Igor had um, for comparison so there's the Ast Astron and the NTK and these are the um, these are connectors, so in the plug for the pins to connect into. And as you can see here, there is three dimples, right, across this, where this one is sprung in on all four sides, holding in that pin as you plug it in. So, um, if you want to go see the uh, crude version, Jace Two Cents did uh, did the crude version of him showing how to plug everything in, but in these three right your 45 newtons right and stuff your force of that is going to be pulling out is going to have less friction states and also these are the only three things really touching the pin which could cause you know issues depending upon how much amperage and everything else you're putting across this well these now are they have a certain amount of area for the target um, connection that it needs to be to have a good connection to be able to have the force so these I don't think are going to be satisfactory anymore uh, maybe they can do something else but as if you have a full thing a better connection to the pins with the power coming across the pin again and depend on how much you pull that could have been a problem and that has been addressed in this uh, this new updated plug so that's kind of cool that they also, you know, they took into account a lot of things. You know, this is one thing that Igor, if I remember correctly, Igor reported out last time. And these, um, you know, ping contacts are important because you are doing a lot of power across them. So, you know, the, the amount, I, I believe there's also, when you click it in, now there's also less uh, play that's allowed. So they really try to make this connector a much better connector. Hopefully it's in line with the A-pin uh, power connectors we're used to and you know all these other power connectors that just have worked and we can hopefully be get this behind us going forward. But the sense pins are more, they, they have more of a thing to do with safety now and sensing things, <laughs> which are good. But this is all something that was a much needed change, was a much needed um, and I'll post Igor's uh, link to this as well in the description below. But this is just all something that needed to be updated, in my opinion, and needed to be changed because users shouldn't have to worry and about if they plugged in their graphics card correctly for it to work, right? They should snap in. We've been doing this for years and years with, you know, a single A pin, double A pin, a six pin, <laughs> you know, uh, six pin, what is it, six pin plus two or whatever it is and there was never an issue this big of it so if we can get the connector to be as reliable as the old one I think that we've made progress and I think that's where we need to be at because having people's cards just uh, 
you know, melt the connector is not something that is going to make people comfortable going back to this. And it's just something that, you know, somebody doesn't, we don't need a big accident of a house burning down or anything else. And that, if you keep allowing these connectors and they keep doing this melting, even after, you know, it's, it's been reported of, you know, user, user error, everything else, and it's still happening when users are doing it, uh, you don't want to have that problem as well because it's a it's an entertainment device, not a destroying device, and you know that's that's where I kind of stand on that. So let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think this connector is going to help solve all the issues? I I hope it does. Right, uh, these are the adjustments that need to be made. PCI Sig has gone through and taken its time. It's been what about seven months or so, ish. To do this which makes kind of sense you know development look at what can be done and then make adjustments and test those adjustments out so that kind of makes sense in the timeline of things it's uh, it's sad that all these people with their graphics cards had to go through this to kind of get to there but hopefully we're getting to some place where it's going to be much more reliable but leave your comments in the leave your thoughts and comments in the comments below and until next time, I want to thank you all for watching, supporting Gray Overload, and help this channel grow. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, God bless.